Tribes. I'm Jackie from Glen Island Public Library. Today we're going to be Rainforest Explorers and we're going to do um, some marbling with shaving cream. We're going to make a tiger pattern and then make like a jungle scene out of it, or a rainforest scene. Your kit includes instructions on how to do this craft, shaving cream for our marbling, um, black and orange watercolor paints, also for our marbling. A few chips and a pipette. A glue stick. A tiger cutout. Um, some white cardstock and then a brown, uh, brown and green piece as well. And then some um, leaf and flower cutouts to decorate with. From home, you'll need scissors. Um, and then if you want to use any like coloring things, crayons, markers, pencils, whatever you like. All right. Can't wait to get started. Okay. I forgot to say that you'll need a cookie sheet or another um, not easily stained surface or ruined surface. Um, you're going to spread your shaving cream onto that surface. You'll just see the thin layer, um, but you want to spread it kind of evenly. You can use a butter knife or just something with a flat edge. You want to make sure it's big enough that it will fit your tiger cut out. I'm just going to smooth it across. Um, next, we'll be needing our watercolor paints. Give them a little shake. You're going to use orange first. Um, these really don't stain easily. They clean up pretty well. You're going to take your pipette with your orange watercolor paint and drop it all over your shaving cream. And then you'll use a cotton swab to spread it um, into like tiger stripes. That is the goal here is to make it look kind of tigery. So just spread in vertical lines until you're happy with how it looks. Next, you'll take your same pipette again into the black watercolor paint and do the same. I would go not quite as heavy with the black. And then use your cotton swab or a fresh cotton swab and also spread that vertically. I'm adding a little more here. Okay, next we are going to put our cardstock on top of the shaving cream and smooth it over. I'm going to pat it down so that the shaving cream and color will stick to this piece of cardstock. Let it set for a just a little bit. And then you'll peel the paper off of the shaving cream marble mixture. You'll let that set for a couple minutes. And while you're doing that, you can um, go and rinse off your cookie sheet and your butter knife.
Okay, so now the shaving cream marble color has set, and we're going to scrape the excess shaving cream off with the flat end of a butter knife or whatever you are using. Um, you want to make sure to be gentle. It is easy to rip the paper right now since it's wet, and using a flat surface um, is the best without any like edges to give you free range of motion. Once you have most of the shaving cream off, you can use a paper towel or your hand to just wipe the last little remnants off. Now we can start tracing our tiger. Um, you want to make sure that the tiger is kind of centered or just so that way the whole tiger body will have a um, striped pattern on it. Once you're done tracing, you can cut out your tiger. Um, cut carefully around the lines, of course. Tiger onto the second white piece of cardstock and then just decorate as you like. Um, there were some leaves and flowers cutouts for you. The green and brown construction paper you can use for grass, for trees, branches, whatever you'd like. And then if you want to add your own um, embellishments or decor with crayons or whatever color utensil you'd like. Um, make it your own.
yours. Um, if you want, email me a picture of yours at jhyde-young, y-o-u-n-g, at depo, p-e-p-l, dot org. Bye. Thanks so much for crafting with me. I can't wait to see you in the library. Thank you.